The SS Elysium was the pride of the Atlantic, a luxurious cruise liner that promised its passengers an unforgettable voyage. With its grand ballrooms, gourmet dining, and world-class entertainment, it was a floating paradise. On this particular voyage, the ship was filled with a diverse group of passengers. Eleanor, a retired schoolteacher traveling alone, seeking adventure in her twilight years. The Martins, a family of four, with two young children, Lucy and Max, excited for their first sea voyage. Raj, a young entrepreneur, hoping to find some relaxation away from his bustling life. Isabel, a mysterious woman who mostly kept to herself, drawing the attention of many with her enigmatic aura. The first three days were nothing short of magical. The sun shone brightly, the sea was calm, and the nights were filled with laughter and dance. But on the fourth night, as the moon hung low, a dense fog enveloped the ship. It started with whispers. Passengers claimed to see shadowy figures on the deck, disappearing as quickly as they appeared. The ship's lights would flicker, and an eerie silence would occasionally fall over the crowd. Eleanor, while reading in the library, heard children's laughter, but when she looked up, she found herself alone. The Martins, who were dining, felt a cold breeze, and their cutlery moved on its own. Raj, trying to sleep, was awakened by a ghostly apparition of a sailor warning him of impending doom. Isabel, however, seemed unfazed, her eyes always distant, as if she knew something the others didn't. The climax came on the fifth night. The ship's alarms blared, and the captain's voice echoed, announcing that the ship was sinking. Panic ensued. People ran in all directions, but there was no water entering the ship. Instead, ghostly figures roamed the corridors, their hollow eyes seeking the living. In the chaos, many passengers, driven by sheer terror, jumped overboard, preferring the icy waters to the haunted ship. Eleanor, clutching her book, leaped into the sea, followed by the Martins, holding their children close. Raj, paralyzed with fear, was pushed overboard by the frantic crowd. As dawn approached, the fog lifted, revealing the ship eerily silent. The crew searched the ship, but there was no sign of any ghostly apparitions. The ship was intact, with no signs of damage. Isabel was found on the deck, gazing at the horizon. When questioned, she whispered, they were never here to harm us. They just wanted to be seen, to be remembered. The SS Elysium returned to port, forever marked as the haunted ship of the Atlantic. Those who survived spoke of the horrors they witnessed, but many believed it was just a result of mass hysteria. The ship was decommissioned, but the legend lived on. To this day, on foggy nights, some claim to see the ghostly silhouette of the SS Elysium, with shadowy figures dancing on its deck, forever sailing the haunted waters of the Atlantic.